wait till those two future jailbirds read the Morning Post tomorrow. <laughs> You're tight squeeze, though. Get me Duffy. That's the worst jam we've been in in a while. Yeah. What? Well, where is he? We'll get him. Remember stealing old lady Heidi's stomach from the coroner? Whenever you need this guy, he's never there. We had a hideout for a week, didn't we, Walter? Do you remember that? The old Shoreland Hotel? <laughs> That's where we had Yeah, him. we could have gone to jail for that, too. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, Hildy. It's a bad business. You better get going. You better be off. But where would I go? To Bruce, of course. You know, we left this morning. You took the night Send a wire. Just... He'll be at the station waiting for you in Albany. Why doesn't that guy have a phone? I don't know. I got a phone messed up. Get going, Hildy. What's the matter with you? Wait a minute, Duffy. Can't you understand? I'm trying to do something noble in my life for once. Now get out of here before I change but my Walter. mind. It'll be tough now. Uh, wait a minute. Send the fellow a wire and he'll be waiting. What about the story? I'll write it. It won't be half as good. But it's my story. I'd like to think that At I'd last! <laughs> oh, I get it. Same old act, isn't it? You're trying to push me away, thinking I'll be stupid enough to not want to stay. No, I know I deserve that, Hildy. Wait a minute, Duffy. This time you're wrong. When you walk out, a part of me is going to go with you, but the whole world's going to open up for you. You know why I made fun of Bruce and Albany. Why? Because I was jealous. I was sore I couldn't give you the life that he could. That's what you want, honey. Well, I could stay and do the story, and I could take Forget a it. in the morning. Come on, come on. Go on, and good luck. Now, Duffy, this is how it goes so far. Just a minute. Hello? Who? Ildi. Oh, she just left. I'm still here. I could take it. Uh, hang on a minute. Hello? Hilda Johnson speaking. 